welcome student teachers to the course knowledge and curriculum we are now into the third unit curriculum development in education now we are entering into the third module where we are going to understand uh, the hidden and enacted curriculum in the previous module we have seen the determinants of curriculum and here we are going to concentrate or understand of uh, the hidden and enacted curriculum on understanding of hidden and enacted curriculum we must know that curriculum is the totality of experiences provided by schools inside and outside the school with the view of achieving the objectives of school as well as education in this process we need to concentrate on many aspects for example we need to give some experiences that are common to all students this is the core of the curriculum sometimes the students understand a few aspects from the very culture of the school or the way the school activities and routine are planned this is not planned deliberately but are the aspects that are not obvious this is known as hidden curriculum it is also important to know how the content should be presented and experts have suggested number of ways to organize the content we also need to be aware of how school knowledge is reflected in curriculum syllabus and textbooks and we are going to deal with all these aspects in the present module the concept of core curriculum core curriculum is based on essential learning and a common scheme of studies which helps the students for a successful future and for academic achievement core curriculum is a set of school or college courses in subjects concerned essential to a suitable education as providing necessary skills or common cultural knowledge core curriculum is a set of courses that are considered basic and essential for future class work or graduation in core curriculum there exists a set of common learning including knowledge skills and values the common learning usually consists of the following compulsory subjects like social science geography biology history etc in core curriculum along with compulsory subjects optional subjects like fine arts home uh, economics language music etc are also included this general education is considered necessary for students irrespective of their choices in major subjects max science arts music visual arts english history geography or examples of core curriculum in a middle school or high school the characteristics of core curriculum core courses emphasize discussion and group problem solving and learning is not restricted to the classroom students need learning experiences that take precedence over subject matter courses form a co coherent whole integrated either through disciplines themes content or a combination of these offers the study of many types of original materials and not only grade books core course emphasizes practice over subject matter in disciplinary arts as they are applied to original sources and core programs weave common elements together elements together for common reflection and discussion and it utilizes the problems of personal and social development common to all and it encourages the use of the problem solving techniques to face solve, solve problems it provides the means for developing social competencies let us now move on to understand the concept of hidden curriculum hidden curriculum includes things which students learn because of the way in which the work of the school is planned and organized but which are not in themselves overtly included in planning or even in the consciousness of those responsible of the for the school arrangement hidden concepts that describe the often unarticulated and unacknowledged things students are taught in schools that may affect their learning experiences there are often unspoken and implied lessons unrelated to the academic courses students perceive certain aspects just being in school the term hidden curriculum is attributed to philip w jackson when we look into the meaning of hidden curriculum unofficial expectations implicit but expected messages unintended learning outcomes implicit messages arising from the structure of schooling and created by students hidden curriculum can be defined as the lessons that are taught informally and usually unintentionally in the school system these include behaviors perspectives and attitudes that students pick up while they are at school 
This is contrasted with the formal curriculum such as course and activities and students participation. Hidden curriculum refers to unwritten, unofficial and often unintended lessons, values, norms and beliefs and perspectives that students learn in classroom, social environment and school. Students learn to form opinions and ideas about their environment and their classmates through hidden curriculum. Hidden curriculum is described as uh, hidden because it is usually unacknowledged or unexamined by students, educators and the wider community. For example, children learn appropriate ways to act at school. For example, may pick up may pick upon the fact that year end test scores are what really matters. When we look into the characteristics of hidden curriculum, it consists of unspoken and un implicit academic and social and cultural messages that are communicated to students while they are in school. Coping with continuous evaluation and dealing with unequal power share has scope for undemocratic teacher behavior and practices, for high control for student behavior, for isolation of students from teacher, for valuing content over process, for valuing convergent thinking over divergent thinking, for valuing answering questions than asking questions for social comparison. The key features of hidden curriculum are Non-academic focus on teaching values and skills apart from the so official curriculum, consciously or unconsciously hidden at least for a group of students, not written and not explicitly acknowledged, and has potential to lead to positive and negative, in, uh, negative influences on individuals. The aspects of learning contributing to for the success or failure of the hidden curriculum. Social structures of classroom and environment of the school give rise to hidden curriculum. Teachers exercise of authority. Rules governing the relationship between teachers and students. Standard learning activities. Teachers use of language, textbooks and audiovisual aids. Furnishing architecture and disciplinary measures. Timetables, tracking systems and priorities to curricular activities. The physical school environment can be a component of hidden curriculum because it can impact learning. Peer pressure, child is ridiculed, teased and made to feel inferior by peers. Cultural expectations. The academic, social and behavioral expectations established by schools and educators communicate messages to students. Low academic expectations which may lead to negative effects on students' academic achievement or feeling of self-worth. Cultural values. The cultural values, the values promoted by schools, educators and peer groups may also convey hidden messages. For example, some schools may expect the reward conformity while punishing non-conformity, whereas other schools might celebrate and even celebrate non-conformity. Cultural perspectives. How schools integrates diversity and multicultural perspective may convey both intentional and unintentional messages. Curricular topics. The subject that teacher chooses for courses and lessons may convey different ideological, cultural and ethical messages. Teaching strategies. The way that school and teachers chose to, choose to educate students can convey both intentional and un unintentional messages. School structures. The school program organized can convey messages to students. For example, non-English speaking students are largely separated from their peers for most of the school day, which affects students' sense of cultural belonging. Institutional rules may communicate a wide variety of intentional and, uh, intentional and unintentional messages to students. For example, some schools require students to wear school uniforms. Some ban certain types of attire like shorts, uh, short, shirts, etc. And others have very liberal clothing policies. The district dress code policies communicate that uh, students will be judged on appearances on inside and outside of school, while loser policies might communicate that they will be judged on other qualities. Concept of spiral curriculum. It is a curriculum design approach to education that introduces key concepts to students at a young age and covers the, these concepts repeatedly with increasing degree of complexity. This approach is also known as spaced or distributed approach and it contrasts with blocked or masked curricula which does not introduce a difficult concept until the student has reached a higher level of education. 
It is a technique often used in teaching or textbooks in which first the basic facts of subjects are learned without worrying about details. A spiral curriculum can be defined as a course of study in which students will see the same topics throughout their school career with which each encounter increasing the complexity. Dividing the content of a lesson into small units and organizing according to students' age, mental level and intelligence is called spiral curriculum. Learning takes place from simple to complex, general to specific, with repetition of content learning becomes more effective. Units are organized in such a way that students comprehend the subject content in a spiral way and the word spiral is descriptive of the idea of repeated learning in spiral fashion. Spiral approach is aimed at enabling learners to strengthen the retention of learning and development of the above skills since the design is organized through repeated learning opportunities. Bruno 1960 discussed the idea of spiral curriculum in his book The Process of Education. The diagram here below shows the levels of learning, revisits and level of difficulty. Four topics, four topics are revisited within, uh, within, the, uh, within and across terms. Topics thought with greater, I mean, the spiral uh, curriculum is based on this level. So at the first level, it is the level of areas. The second level is at the uh, level of difficulty and the third level is topic taught with greater depth each time and the fourth is the topmost is topics are revisited within and across terms. This is the Bruner's cognitive development of uh, uh, spiral curriculum which is, which is shown in the uh, simplified manner. Nearly any subject can be taught with a spiral curriculum. Such curricula break down the key concepts into strands that are taught after year after year adding to the depth of the knowledge each year by setting higher comprehension goals for each grade level as students gain mastery of the subject. For example, in mathematics, a curriculum designed with a spiral approach organizes its lesson around six categories of mathematical concepts that is taught in multiple units each year, rather than waiting until the students have mastered addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Curriculum returns to these ideas frequently and information each year with higher comprehension goals. The key features of spiral curriculum. Spiral curriculum has some key features such as the student to revisit a topic or theme several, subject, several uh, subjects several times throughout their school career. The complexity of the theme or the theme increases with each revisit. New learning has relationship with old learning and is put in context with uh, old information. Enacted curriculum is the curriculum that is actually implemented and experienced in the classroom as opposed to the planned or intended curriculum. It encompasses the daily activities, lessons and interactions between teachers and students. 